Imagine watching a plane take off. At first, it moves slowly down the runway. Then it speeds up, and suddenly it lifts into the air. But how does that happen? Every time something flies, whether it's a plane, a bird, or even a paper airplane, it's affected by four important forces. Lift, weight, thrust, and drag. These forces work together to make flight possible. Lift is the force that pushes an object upward, allowing it to rise into the air. For an airplane, lift is created by the shape of its wings, which are curved on top and flatter on the bottom. As air moves over the wings, it moves faster on top and slower underneath, creating higher pressure below the wing. This pushes the airplane up. Birds and insects also create lift by flapping their wings and angling them to catch the air. Weight is the force that pulls objects downward because of gravity. The heavier an object is, the more lift it needs to stay in the air. That's why airplanes need large wings and powerful engines to overcome their weight. Birds have lightweight bones to help them stay in the air without using too much energy. Thrust is the force that moves an object forward. Planes create thrust using engines or propellers, which push air backwards to move forward. Birds create thrust by flapping their wings, and even paper airplanes get thrust when you throw them forward. Without enough thrust, an object won't have the speed needed for lift to work. Drag is the force that slows an object down as it moves through the air. If you've ever stuck your hand out of a car window while moving, you've felt drag. Planes and birds reduce drag by having smooth, streamlined shapes, so they can move through the air more easily. This is why jet planes have pointed noses and sleek wings to cut through the air with less resistance. For something to fly, these forces must be balanced in the right way. If thrust is greater than drag, the object moves forward. If lift is greater than weight, the object rises. But if weight overcomes lift, the object falls. And if drag overcomes thrust, the object slows down. The next time you throw a paper airplane, watch a bird in the sky, or see a jet take off, think about how these four forces, lift, weight, thrust, and drag, are working together to make flight happen.